Welcome to Math TV with Professor V. It's Saturday, October the 8th, I want to say. And for the integral of the day today, I've got one that is a little tricky. I usually would put it just as a fun challenge problem for my class. Um, so we have 3e to the 4t plus 12e to the 2t plus 4 all over e to the 2t plus 4 dt. Integral of that. Um, I'll let you marinate on it for a second. Maybe pause the video if you want and then we'll get right into the solution. So the key is to split this up into two integrals actually. So first integral, I'm going to just group the first two terms in the numerator. 3e to the 4t plus 12e to the 2t over e to the 2t plus 4 dt plus, and then we'll just have 4 over e to the 2t plus 4 dt as a second separate integral. So we've basically got two integrals to evaluate now. And the first one's quite easy once you notice something that you can actually factor out from both terms in the numerator a 3e to the 2t. And when I do that, then I'm left with um, just e to the 2t plus 4, which is oh so convenient because then I can cancel with the e to the 2t plus 4 in the denominator. So now this is entirely gone. Oops, I wanted a different color. Thank you. So this is gone. And then now all I'm left to evaluate here is 3e to the 2t dt. And I don't think you need a u sub for this at this point, right? Since all we have is just some constant in front of t, we're going to divide by that constant. So integrating will give us 3 halves e to the 2t, and I'm going to say plus c1 since I have one more integral to evaluate. All right? Good. Integral 1 was no big deal. Integral 2 is going to take a little bit more work, but it's manageable. So we have for integral number 2... 4 over e to the 2t plus 4 dt. And anytime I see like e to the 2t, I like to remind myself that that's the same as e to the t squared, right? And the way it's written right now, I don't know, maybe you're getting feelings of tan inverse, but those aren't correct. <laughs> so what you want to do is let's go ahead, apply a u substitution, and then see how things kind of play out. So I'm going to let u equal e to the t, and then naturally du is going to be e to the t dt. And you might be saying, I think you've gone awry. I don't see e to the t dt, just dt. But that's fine. I'm not stressing. Um, all I have is dt. Cool. So du over e to the t is dt, but that also means, don't forget, e to the t is u. So I can just say du, oh, oh my, du over u is equal to dt. All right, so now my new integral in terms of u would be 4 over e, oh, no, no more e, u squared plus 4 times du over u. And that looks a little peculiar. I'm not loving it. I would rewrite it as just 4 over u times u squared plus 4 du. Yeah? Beautiful. So now what are you getting feelings of? It's not tan inverse time, certainly no, and hopefully you can see that. It's time to do partial fraction decomposition. Wow. Okay, so partial fraction time. Here we go. I have 4 over u times u squared plus 4. So we'll have a over u plus, since u squared plus 4 is an irreducible quadratic, I need bu plus c in the numerator. And then we'll multiply through now by u and u squared plus 4. And let's see what we're left with. 4 equals a times u squared plus 4 plus bu plus c times u. So now I have 4 equals au squared plus 4a 
plus BU squared plus CU. And then we're just going to collect um, coefficients for like terms. So there's no squared terms on the left. So 0 must equal A plus B. And then are there linear terms? U to the first. None on the left. So C must be 0. And then constant term. OK, OK. All that's left is 4 equals 4a. So that means a is equal to 1 and b is equal to negative 1. So now we can rewrite our integral. Now we have a over u, so 1 over u, um, minus u over u squared plus 4 du. OK, lovely. So let's see here, integral of 1 over u, that's ln, absolute value of u, minus, if you're going to do a substitution for the next term, don't use u, obviously, don't use uh, t, because the original integral was in terms of t, so pick a different variable. I'm hoping at this point in your math career, though, you're probably advanced at integrating, you don't need to do a substitution. So hopefully you can see, I'll let you play with it on the side if you need to, but I encourage my students to get to a point where they can see, all right, if they did a substitution, all that would occur is just they'd pick up a constant of one half. Yes? Can you see it? Um, if not, maybe you just need more practice. So you'll have one half ln absolute value, u squared plus four, and then I'm going to say plus c2, and then we'll go back to our original variable. So this is going to be natural log absolute value e to the t minus 1 half natural log u squared plus 4. I don't need absolute value, huh? e to the 2t plus 4. That's not going to be negative. Plus c2. And then ln of e to the t absolute value. I don't need the absolute value there. It's just e to the t. It's not going to be negative. And then this is, becomes t minus 1 half natural log of e to the 2t plus 4 plus c2. Woo. So now I can combine this with the first integral we evaluated and we have our final answer. So we now have da, 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 3 halves e to the 2t plus t minus 1 half natural log e to the 2t plus 4 Watch this, plus C, where C equals C1 plus C2. So fabulous. Okay, hope you enjoyed that integral. And I hope you have a lovely weekend. My cousin's coming to visit today. I'm excited to see her. And the weather's still pretty nice, so I'm not complaining. All right, guys, stay tuned. I have more lovely math videos coming your way. And you can also follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Math TV with Professor V. See you soon.